Good morning everybody. Here we are on House and Garden Flipper. We're going to head back in and check out a few things. Yesterday I think we consolidated some skills but we didn't get to actually get any new uh, tools. So today I'm hoping we get some new tools and maybe I can do something about that bathroom because it's an absolute mess. Oh, dirt, no. Alright, now that we've got our outside tools we don't get the broom option for cleaning dirt on the outside wall. Uh, but we do get to hose it down, which is kind of cool. All right, inside it's blue. I know. Honestly, when you put furnishings in, it'll look a bit better. Straight into our jobs today. We're going to put someone's garden in order, and if we're really lucky, uh, we'll get to check out what those horrible colours look like. All right, Santa Lewis. Her business trip was longer, and she needs some rest. But her messy garden makes her nervous. She wants to hire someone to put the garden in order to take care of the lawn. Oh no, more lawn mowing. Maybe I'll drive better this time. All right, let's go. Sander. Wow. That, that's a long business trip, Sander. Okay, we need to mow the lawn and remove the weeds. One thing I haven't tried with the mower is whether or not it will kill weeds. So I might just experiment with that now. So you right click. I like your mower. Pop him down there and try not to drive like a drunken monkey. Alright, uh, not much work with that camera. Alright, so if I mow a weed. Oh, oh, okay. It does help if you put that. Awesome. So there you go, you can mow your weeds, which will save you a little bit of time when you go around. So I'm using the WASD keys to hot nifty to, um, to move my mower. And, uh, I'm getting a lot better than I was the first time I drove this thing. What I really like is that I'm going to have to whipper step around those trees because if I was doing this in real life, I would have to whipper step around the trees. Okay, big bushes you can't mow, obviously. Mind. I'm not saying I ever tried to do that when I was mowing as a kid, really, I'm not. What I like about this game is there are no ants. Because if you mow an ant nest, they fly everywhere and the ants get really irritated. And in Queensland, some of them um, get quite upset. We had meat ants and they really stung. days when I think the whipper snipper would be faster, but that's just because I can't drive the peanuts. Okay, the other thing to note about your mower is once you get too close to a fence or a house, it won't um, it won't let you get in any closer. So that's um, that's why your whipper snipper is going to come in. And normally what I would do, I'm drifting my mower, that's awesome. Normally what I would do is whip the snip first and then just mow to the edges, but today I'm doing it first afterwards, so there we go. I swear I'm going to get better at this mower. The mower and I, we're not quite nemesis, but there we go. Maybe it's not the mower's fault if I miss a patch. Here we go. What? I don't know. If you, uh, you miss the uh, lawn mowing. Uh, if I wanted to, I could finish up this garden now. But uh, like I keep saying. If you want more money to buy houses with, you've just got to finish your commissions. There we go. Ah! At least I've stopped trying to drive it with the mouse. That does make life a lot easier. You just keep your left finger resting down and it mows beautifully, just don't forget. Give it a rest, there we are. Can I get there? I can 
do another strip on this one. Oh god, not I don't buy it. Okay. That'll be fine. stuck on a tree. That's fine. I like this mower. And it is quicker, I think, than the river snipper. Once you once you um, work out how to steer it and actually manage to do what you've worked out. Alrighty. Speaking of river snippers, let's go tidy up the edges. And if you have a look over there, we've got 90% of our lawn mode. You can whip a snip weeds. Um, I prefer ripping them out, but that's possibly just me. Right, if you have a look in your mini map, you'll see where you've missed the bits, those with the dark green bits still standing. I missed a whole strip of that. Now, see how the grass looks a bit cut? That's why you need your mini map, because just occasionally your cut will be a little bit tall. This way. Take the wind. Right, somewhere over here. Yep, I missed a bit there. There we go. So what I'm doing, if you're wondering how I'm finding the green, is I'm just kind of pointing the pointer and then um, steering it in the general direction on the mini map. So I'm not actually looking at what I'm cutting at all. is now 100% complete. What are you talking about? I can still see grass I missed. There we go. Alrighty. That is that. Okay, you know what? That bit of grass is just going to drive me crazy. There we are. We finish our order and we'll head back and see what the next order brings. And I need to level up my my uh, skills, because we have skills, man. All right, gardener, faster planting, faster digging, a bigger axe, faster unfolding. Let's go for the big axe. I mean, who doesn't like a big axe, right? Here we go. Oh, he's back, little devil. Right. Oh, we can't with the snip them all. That's right. E for the shovel. Somewhere in here is a little monster. Don't tell me there's no little dig here. There is a mole out our spot. You! I shall sell you. Can I sell the mole? Oops! I didn't mean to mow you. He's very cute. The first time I saw him though, he gave me a bit of a fright. So the mole is pretty persistent. You never really get rid of him. Um, I don't live in a country where there are moles, so I don't know if we're this annoying, but I'll tell you what. Right, job number two. Horrible colours, no worries. Hello, my dear. Don't call me, my dear. I'm so happy that I did offer to help me with house flipping. What? I hope your office is still valid. You wouldn't say no to such a... Mate, you're working on me saying no right now. Don't even try it. 
here's a deal. About a month ago, I moved to my cousin's house. She said, I'm sorry to be an artist, blah, blah, blah. Commands her to live in a house that looks like a Christmas tree. Because the colours hurt my eyes. <laughs> and, oh dear. All right. So basically, he's moved into a house with someone with really different tastes to him. And he's trying to butter me up to fix it. Pretty much. And you know what? Seeing as he's paying, I will. He's complaining about that. That's quite pretty. He should water his flowers. I could water his flowers. Anyway. All right. In this room, we need to change the colours to faded lemon. You know what? In this case, make blue green. Faded lemon it is. Faded lemon is also one of the favourite colours of many of my clients, I've noticed. The, the ones that like the bright blues, which I think are the older couple, and the ones that like the light balls, which I think is my businessman. He likes he likes white, but I can get away with painting the faded lemon, which means he's got a bit more competition when it comes to bidding. So I'm really looking forward to getting started on that process. We will get past the painting. It's coming. Just need to paint a bit more. Oops, I like faded lemon. <laughs> it goes really well with light floors. I love this game for its relaxation value. It's just it's something you can sit and um, relax with. Alright, that room is done. Let's do this in a semi-regular order. Nothing to do in the bathroom. Oh, wow, okay. Sleepy blue, huh? Actually, what we haven't done, we haven't sold our paint tin. Oh, we can't sell our paint tin. That's right. Alright, that's fine. I hate leaving half half empty paint things around the house. It's just it just really bugs me. I mean if I was painting someone's house I would be tidying up after myself. Um just because So that's why I was really glad they moved the dispose tool for um paint tins to your hand so you didn't have to sell the empty paint tins anymore. which you couldn't do when you were in a house like this because you, your cell tool is not moving. But it is possible to be really lazy and paint the walls without moving the furniture. You just have to aim that little white dot very precisely and stand in the right spot. Uh, there's proximity as well. You won't be able to paint an entire room just from the middle unless it's a really small room. We'll have to move about a bit. I like the extra reach. They've, they've added a bit of extra reach recently, so I don't have to move as much. Clean my boots, honest. Well, I hope I clean my boots. So you'll notice as we're painting the little percentage bar, we'll show you exactly what bits count when you paint them. Um, when I first started, 
I didn't realize that this tiny little bit here was a percent as well so you need to make sure you get into the corners and if you ever miss uh, painting in a room and you swear you finished it and all the walls are done check your windows just in case also that bit it's really easy to miss there we go is my paint tin empty no it's not i'm just aiming wrong Ditto with the heaters and the walls, you don't need to undo the heaters to get to the wall, you just have to aim a little bit high. And the other thing you'll notice is even if the heater isn't there, you're going to have to still aim at that same point uh, because the program will block it out. There we go, bedroom 2 is done, let's go into this one. Oh, okay. She really liked these strong colours. Sorry, I forgot to look at my colour, white peach. This this one took a while to grow on me, but I use it quite often now. We're going to need probably about two tins for this room, maybe. Hopefully we'll get another um, paint perk out of this one. I can start painting more than one wall at a time. really like the extra reach they put on the paintbrushes. That's awesome. I could have been wrong. I might just need one painting for this. Yes! New painting. Alright, let's go with pasta painting because and then we'll go into the paint multiple walls it's always a bit of a toss up which of those two to choose first I love this horse painting. We get a version in our um, in our tab bar we can buy, but it's not as big as this one. And I haven't worked out how to resize the existing art. Because that looks really good on the wall. Alright, I can finish this order early, but I might just finish off now because we're nearly there. So we might as well get it done. It'll drive me nuts if I don't finish it because that's just me. Alright, that's all done. Should be just this last wall to go. 
Though from the progress bar, it looks like I may have another room. So I think there's a second bedroom to go. Probably more blue. Look at that, it was a one paint tin room. My goodness. And I can't sell them, that's okay. Fine. Paintbrush. Whoa. Okay, bright peach again. Oh, well, I can't sell them, but that's not a bad thing. Let's grab that. Wander this way. But uh, that green is intense enough to put your teeth on edge. Alrighty, let's get to it. Now, painting with these bunk beds can be a little bit tricky uh, because they take up quite a bit of space so if you drop your brush too low it completely vanishes and sometimes you can't get into there so you want to be able to aim above it um, because that way it'll all, it'll all get done now that I can get rid of the empty paintings It's interesting. It's not letting me paint. I oh, know it's letting me paint above. That's okay. I was going to say, if it doesn't, you just need to sneak in around the side and aim down that way. And it'll get done. This is my favourite part of the game. Just turning something that doesn't match my taste into something that does. side thing again, there we go. Yep. It's the same with bathrooms, you'll find patches in bathrooms that are hard to paint and it's just basically a matter of um, moving and angling yourself so that you can get in past the, the fields created by the furniture. So don't have to um, remove all the furniture out of the room or anything. I mean, if you're doing it in real life, sure you would, but it's really nice to not have to fiddle with that uh, in game when you can just focus on doing the colours and the combinations um, that you want to put in. Sure, I would have chosen bright peach for this room, but then I'm not the client, so uh, this is what he wants. He may he may want to move those pictures around and just I don't know do stuff. I would have probably done a bright lemon, a faded lemon, if I was doing conservative colours. Ah, oh, what did I just do? There we go. Getting a bit dodgy on the mouse. It's fine. There we are. Oh, right, my order is 100% completed. Let's get out of here. Yeah, complete. Now you'll notice you get clues in the bottom of your screen for the different clients. So that was a Doland businessman. He likes expensive furniture. We're also at the end of time. We're at 23 minutes, so I better stop. Uh, but tomorrow, no, the day after tomorrow, we will be doing... We'll be doing bathrooms. So that'll be good. We will get some new tools in a couple of days. So have a good day, everyone. Nice to see you here. And I'll catch you on the flip side.